of what's right, right with us, right, right every day, everything we use, everything we see. Oh, look, you were right. Up so the wheel can't touch, and this one touches, and this one spins. And obviously, that flips it. And cogs, maybe. But if you put one. Ladies, so there's a zoom. It is the thing to go home last night and get one of those zoom and cut it in half because I want to know what it looks like. So I did. And I didn't realize that the inside, I thought you could be, it looks like it's squishy, but it's not. And so, if any of you want to know, what a golf ball looks like, you need to come to the techno table. They have proboscis too, but they also have animals. Someone made a suit of armor that mimics the pill bug. And the train tracks mimic millipedes, which I think is But it is a shell. But we have to match it with something in here. But I think it is. By the way, Melanie, this is the you got to write it in to take it out. That's to get the little pieces that stay in that cracks. And that helps you get Where's that come from? Animals with hard shells. Okay. What does a submarine do? Sinks in, sinks into the water. Down and up. So where did that idea of moving up and down and pressure come from in nature? Gusting, you know that the pouch woven together and it's it's uh, strong, used to keep the eggs safe and, and uh, kind of warm. And so they were trying to think, but how does that apply to us? Kind of, they use that as a structure for the, for the Olympic Games. Spinal cord is, so I thought maybe structures, maybe tall buildings. So we had to call over the professor and say, what the heck? We're just, we're stuck. And what did I have you do? And she said, draw a T. And I'm thinking, draw a T? I didn't ask for the alphabet. Tell me what this does. <laughs> so I drew a T, and she said, skyscrapers have the T, and then it started to click. I'm thinking about two purposes the outside part of it as the wasp nest, and then the inside the threads of the hex knot, uh, nut. We were thinking that maybe it was like a vine or the kinds of animals um, to bore through um, shells. This allows for capillary action, which allows for the pin use, but also goes into medical field and sciences, um, just like our pipettes. And, and the leading edge we noticed the feather was shorter, the feather tongs or whatever you want to call those, are shorter and longer on the other, just like a wing design. Straps with the good qualities of marshmallows. No? <laughs> actually, actually it's a, this is a house that's down the road from Alma, and it's been there for what, 20, 30 years? Get skewers. Going this model here on the iPad, we're making a base for it. Panels, probably. Okay, well then let's do the the dome. Well, but we need to figure out how much. And they're all different shapes. In the valley now, uh, the triangles that you hook, eventually hook together to make the make the shape that makes the panels that makes. The yeah, those little, you know, but uh -huh. just wouldn't. I wouldn't it down too much. Yeah. Diagonal base. Yeah. And now we're starting off from scratch. Another model. Okay. Five. Five, and then we went to four. Yes, and then we yeah. went to four. Yeah. we went up. On top. And then the bubble has to be in the middle, but it's. Started with the base, and we're trying to make what we thought would come out as three nice levels. Yeah, they didn't come out in three. <laughs> we, we didn't understand. We saw a picture, we looked on our phone. Are all the triangles supposed to be the same size? I started from the top. But it still looks pointy and not round like the cool pictures that we saw on our phone. Cool pictures. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's formed as a joke. You can tell like this one's both. Yeah, how many male did, female did it take? Stars. We, the first thing we wanted was, you know, how we put on our... Where is it at? Right here in our pros was that it's cost-effective, environment-friendly. And then how you mentioned was solar energy um, with that. So that's how we were connecting it with our dome.
They're flexible to work with. They have the flexibility of the marshmallows, but with more structure, structural stability than and not like only the. That, but you can also you can keep it consistent where you're gonna poke use. Yeah, you can use like I was telling them like when we went to the box, started on the back, we put them on their backs and we poked through their eyes so that we knew the same place on each one. And then poke them. Through and them. then we're poking them through the legs and like right under yeah, the ears. The other side. The two sides of the triangle, right? Is that what you're doing? You know, you got the large and small. And I have to say, yeah. to me, this seems like something that'd be perfect for them to explore first before you did a plan. Research. Go other things to do, but. Wow. Did you get it? Get the mask. I didn't get the mask. But um, the green one grew up a little bit like. Before it was uh, one centimeter across, now it's 1.1. Uh, the transparent ball was eight millimeters across, now it's 1.4 millimeters across, so it almost doubled. The clear seems to grow faster though Yes. than the green, so I wonder if color has to do with it. So we were building the dome, uh, we chose, uh, for, for the base, we chose a hexagon, and it was bugging me how we couldn't make it work. So I started thinking uh, about Fabinacci, how it was, it was coming up throughout the conversation, and I and I thought about triangles. You know how a hexagon you can make make it out of triangles, and I, I was trying to come up with a pattern, trying to find out the uh, Fabinacci sequence. I couldn't, but now if you do that with the um, perimeter of the hexagon and then you apply the Fabinacci sequence it comes out to be pretty nice. So toothpaste and their carotid arteries on both sides points of reference that you could mimic as you went up your dome. I, I decided I wanted to start with the first and so I figured out the angles that I needed to get. I used the angle measure to draw them out and uh, then I got about a third of the way up and then, then it became a freestyle. Uh, yeah. Let's add some of the pictures we saw on our, our phone of, of the uh, geodesic domes. We were just wondering if are are they all triangles, and I guess they are triangles. And then our second question was, are they all the same size? Because um, when we started with our base and then tried to build up with the amazing drawing we had, um, it didn't quite work out. So then we started um, with the roof first, and then someone said, I guess normally when you build a house, you don't start with the roof first. <laughs> but it seemed to work out better that way. So we thought it'd be a good, a, a good activity, kind of like we did to show pictures, get us to realize our triangles have them kind of build, and then maybe talk about the rules afterwards, and then build something that's a bit more uh, structured based on, on something. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we may have to add a fan or something. Add, you know, something like... Oh! <laughs> 